Hello, I'm Kim Griffin, and I'm running for re-election to the Sequoia Healthcare District Board this November. The Healthcare District Board currently provides a broad range of services, including chronic disease management classes, a healthy schools program, and provides life-saving equipment such as defibrillators to schools in public areas. Most recently, we provided cardiac compression devices used for CPR to all the fire stations within the district. The healthcare district has also been instrumental in the funding of surrounding community clinics, which will become increasingly important as more patients obtain insurance through health care reform. Access to care has always been a priority for the district, but will continue to benefit from our experience with community governance. As a board member, I have been actively involved in the evaluation and development of district programs and grants while always keeping a keen eye on expenditures. I am happy to report the overhead for the health care district remains low, with approximately $8.6 million in property tax income this fiscal year. The district will return $10.6 million in community health benefits. As a registered nurse currently working with children with congenital heart defects, I recognize the importance of keeping our community healthy and having relevant life-saving and preventative services available to the district residents. I am asking for your vote on November 6. The Sequoia Healthcare District must be dissolved. I'm Jack Hickey, candidate for the Sequoia Healthcare District Board of Directors. A vote for Jack Hickey and no other candidate is a way to show that you favor dissolution of the district. I currently hold a seat on the board with two years remaining. The two incumbents have called my decision to run, forcing a costly election, malicious. Continued operation of this obsolete district would be far more costly. In 2008, I ran for this same seat. More than 30,000 of you voted for me. An even larger number in November's election, greater than either incumbent, will pave the way for the dissolution process. Some history is in order. Sequoia Hospital was established by voters in 1946 to build, operate, and maintain a hospital. Sequoia Hospital was the result. The district operated Sequoia Hospital for almost 50 years until they began incurring heavy operational losses. This led to a voter-approved bailout sale of Sequoia Hospital to CHW in 1996. That was Measure H. Having fulfilled their original purpose, the district should have stopped collecting taxes. They chose instead to take on the alias Sequoia Healthcare District and began dispensing property tax dollars to their favorite charities, such as Planned Parenthood, Catholic Charities, etc. In 2001, the grand jury found that the district continues to collect property taxes while pursuing philanthropic activities clearly unintended when voters approved the original district, and that Measure H and the ballot literature accompanying it did not mention in any way that the district taxpayers would continue to be assessed for the purpose of maintaining a hospital that would be owned and maintained by a private entity. In 2002, with the grand jury report in hand, I ran a slate of three candidates hoping to take control of the five-member board. We were committed to stop collection of taxes. Unfortunately, four other challenges appeared on the ballot. The vote was split among the seven challengers. The incumbents were easily re-elected while I captured the third seat. Had there been only three challengers, both incumbents likely would have lost and the district wouldn't be in existence today. I have held my seat on the board for 10 years. I was re-elected in 2006 and again in 2010, where I garnered more votes than longtime board member Art Farrow. The Sequoia Healthcare District must be dissolved. The district is engaging in charitable giving using property tax dollars. That was not the intent of the voters when the district was established. The district continues to support Sequoia Hospital, which it no longer owns, through a $1.25 million annual grant to their foundation. The district uses a million dollars per year of property tax dollars to subsidize nurse training with no repayment obligation or commitment to work in the district. Nine such nurses recently went to work in Palm Springs. The district offers $1,200 a month subsidies for director's health insurance. The board has only six regularly scheduled meetings each year. The district has injected millions of dollars into school district finance. That was never the intent of voters when the district was established. The district has a CEO whose annual salary is $159,500. This for managing a staff of four employees. The district has a $4,700 a month PR consultant under contract for the past four years. Does the district support worthy causes? Many of the charitable organizations receiving grants from the Sequoia Healthcare District are worthy of support, but that should be your choice. Nurses Union should be encouraged to provide loans for nurses training. Repayment could readily be collected from wages along with union dues. What about oversight of Sequoia Hospital? 
In her candidate statement, incumbent Katie Kane perpetuates the myth of an oversight function which elected members of the board have over Sequoia Hospital. That oversight was lost when, as a newly elected board member in 2002, I was denied a seat on the Sequoia Health Services Board governing Sequoia Hospital. The district did a flip-flop on oversight in, two, in 2001. The district told the grand jury that Sequoia Hospital is governed by a 10-person board of directors, including all five publicly elected members of the Sequoia Healthcare District. In 2002, the district said, the hospital is governed by a 10-person board of directors, five of whom are chosen by the district and five chosen by Catholic Healthcare West. The newly renovated Sequoia Hospital, now owned by Dignity Health, is doing fine. District involvement is no longer warranted. The Sequoia Healthcare District must be dissolved. Property tax dollars being collected by the district should be going directly to schools, cities, the county, and other special districts. You can help make this solution happen. To support this solution of the Sequoia Healthcare District, cast one vote in the election. You will be asked to vote for two, but that's not required. Make your single vote for Jack Hickey your way of supporting dissolution. Thank you very much. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kathleen Kane. I am running for re-election to the Board of Directors of Sequoia Healthcare District. People have asked, what is the role of Sequoia Healthcare District in our community? Where do our tax dollars go? And what role does it now play in the delivery of health services for our residents? Actually, the answer is simple. Sequoia Healthcare District provides funds for services to our community. The district makes it possible by partnering with, partnering with our hospitals, our schools, nonprofit care organizations, and many community health clinics. It also partners with the county and state to ensure that all children have health insurance. These groups would not have the ability to function without this funding. Programs we support with dollars provide services to over 50,000 local residents per year. Many of them are among the most vulnerable, including the uninsured and underinsured. My leadership, I created a free health clinic with Samaritan House. This clinic, staffed by volunteer physicians, dentists, nurses, and others, provide primary medical and dental care for thousands of uninsured patients each year. <clears throat> the district also provides $1.8 million to Redwood City's Fair Oaks Clinic, $1.8 million. The clinic sees over 21,000 patients a year for primary medical and prenatal care, as well as the management of chronic illness. Our Heart Safe program deals with public safety. The district provides automatic external defibrillators and Lucas devices that are used for sudden cardiac arrest and code blue towers in areas where public assemblies assembles for the athletic activities. Thanks to the Sequoia Healthcare District, our first responders in our fire departments are equipped with these life-saving devices and have saved lives. Our Healthy School Initiative provides funds for additional school nurses, health counselors, physical and nutritional education to thousands of public school students. And now health services have been incorporated into all our eight schools. Eight years ago, the district created a unique nursing program. A partnership was formed with Kenyatta College, San Francisco State University, and Sequoia Hospital to educate and address the registered nursing shortage in our community. The district underwrites this satellite program at Kenyatta College for $1 million a year. Since its inception, more than 320 nurses have graduated. The district is prudent with its tax dollars. All of the $8.6 million collected in property tax in 2011 fiscal year was spent on health programs, all $8.6 million. In summation, some of our citizens that we help may not be familiar with Sequoia Healthcare District and what we stand for, and we may never meet them. However, as a board member, I am confident their lives and healthcare are enriched because of our existence. I urge you to vote for me, Kathleen Kane, and Kim Griffin to represent you 
on the Sequoia Healthcare District Board of Directors so our district can continue its vital work and ensure a healthy community. Thank you.